Good morning, YouTube family. This is Randy, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Christ on the Coast. And as always, please subscribe and share this with others. I'm also on Instagram. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, exciting day yesterday. Uh, I was robbed. Yeah. <laughs> I was robbed. Uh, I'll go into the details of it, but I had three guardian angels come to my rescue. Um, and I'm also laughing because uh, as I'm sitting in my Doka double cab studio this morning, it's just funny how uh, things work out. Um, as a Christian, this, this channel is uh, dedicated to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I put him in the center of everything I do, <clears throat> including uh, what happened to me yesterday. And uh, it's kind of exciting how it was kind of uh, resolved by uh, these three guardian angels, which I will tell you about in a second. So we're going to take a walk on the beach. And uh, here we go, down in beautiful Sunset Beach this morning. It's the day before the 4th of July. Happy Independence Day, everybody. United States is the most amazing country in the world. And uh, here we go, we're taking our walk. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah, I was robbed. Well, here's the situation. Uh, I'm on uh, 18th Street today, which is really cool. I don't think I've ever been on this street before. Uh, so here was the situation. I was, uh, I got to my workplace yesterday morning at uh, 6.15 in the morning and uh, take my new, uh, new rainbows off. Debbie, my wife, Debbie bought me some new rainbows because I got so much uh, grout and paint on my other ones from tiling that beautiful wall, which I'll show you sometime on a, on a video. Uh, it's kind of a cool wall, it's really big. But anyway, got to my workplace yesterday, 6.15 in the morning, and uh, get there really early, and uh, park my car. I have a Honda Civic, and uh, it's a, I work at a private club where there's, uh, um, well, there, there was not a lot of people in the parking lot at the time, so I go into work, and uh, at about, oh, I'd say, I'm gonna say probably around uh, 9.45, I go out to my car and uh, get some, two cases of tennis balls out of the back of my trunk and uh, to put them in my basket. And I have my uh, tennis pro shop manager with me. Her name's Kayla. She's a wonderful young lady and she's helping me carry these two cases of balls. She takes a case, I take a case. And uh, to fill up my uh, teaching baskets because uh, some of the balls I have in there, I needed to kind of throw away and put some new ones in. And so after I get off work, uh, I go out to my car uh, <laughs> and it's at about 3.15. Uh, I'm on, I'm going out to my car on my way to go home and uh, I walk up to my car and I see that the uh, the gas uh, filler uh, door, the gas the, or the gas tank, it's it's open. And I, I went and got gas yesterday, and uh, or two days ago, and I know that I closed it uh, because I saw this uh, excess wax on the inside. So I knew that you know I had closed it. And then I go to my car and I see that the lock uh, to my door is been punched in and there's no lights broken off and so what i see is uh i look in the window and i see a bunch of papers on my front seat i open the door up and i think oh somebody's broken into my car and then i immediately pop the trunk and that's what the uh the the person that uh, broke into my car they uh, thought that that uh, there's two little levers he popped the gas cap uh door and then he popped the trunk. Well, he stole the two cases of balls out of my back, but he also stole a new Babala. Uh, I have a Babala tennis bag that I was just given because uh, uh, Andy, my pro, and I were sponsored by Babala. So, uh, and it had uh, about 10 sets of string inside of it too. So I basically, I just, I got robbed. So I go back into the, the, the pro shop and uh, my uh, tennis pro shop manager, Kayla, is there. And I just go in and say, hey, Keela, I've, been, I've just been robbed. Uh, somebody broke into my car. She thought I was joking. So we walk out to look at the, to look at my car. And uh, I show her, you know, the, the, the cases of balls are missing because she helped me get the other two cases out. And 
So anyway, she's just really bummed out, and she's just, I'm so, I guess, and then I'm thinking, well, should we, you know, should we call, you know, the police, and, you know, and then I'm thinking, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna call the police, I mean, what are they gonna do, it's, it, you know, it, I mean, I'm just gonna have to go get it fixed, and, you know, put it, you know, call my insurance, see how much it is, and the deductible's probably a thousand bucks, so I probably just get to fix it myself, and, I wanted to go home anyway because uh, Posey, our dog, she we're going to take her for a ride, and I've been at work all day, and Debbie's retired, and so we're going to take her for a ride. And So Kayla says, well, I'm going to go over to the office, and I'm going to go tell Patricia, who's our controller, she's over there, and Kiana, she's our assistant controller, and they have, uh, let's see if I can find any footage, because we have uh, video surveillance all over the club, and this is a long-winded story, isn't it? Uh, beautiful day. <laughs> Down here in Sunset Beach. So anyway, so Debbie, I get home, tell Debbie. Debbie's going, oh my gosh, Big R, that's terrible. You know, you've been robbed. And I said, yeah, you know, and they stole my Babylon bag and the 10 sets of nylon that were inside it and my two cases of tennis balls. And so the value is like, you know, 250, 300 bucks, something like that. Okay, so anyway, so we get Posey, our cute, sweet little rescue dog. Uh, and we put her in our little console of uh, Debbie's Prius and we head on down to Sunset Beach, which is where I'm at today, because we always take her for rides. And she just sits in the console, and she just looks at the ocean, and looks at the, you know, the people, and it's just a fun thing that we do. We do it five times a week, probably. So, so we're going down. It's I'm probably 30 minutes down the highway. By the time we, we get all this going, you know, it's about, you know, it's probably 4.30, and Patricia, my controller, calls me on the phone, and she says, Randy, we have footage of the guy that stole your stuff out of your <clears throat> out of your car and we've got uh, the half the license plate number so you need to get back here uh, over here to the club because uh, we need to call the police and you got to make a report and so I'm you know I'm 35 40 minutes away from the club now because I'm down in, you know you know way down in Sunset Beach so <clears throat> I tell her that yeah uh, you know is it okay if I get there in about 30 minutes because I'm you know uh, I'm with Debbie and Posey, and she goes, yeah, well, we'll be here probably for about another 30 minutes. So anyway, make, make a long story shorter, I uh, get home, get my car, uh, and uh, drive my Honda back over to the club, and Patricia uh, is up in her office. Kiana is in the lobby of the club waiting with the zip drive that she took all the film and <clears throat> to give to the police. The policeman hadn't arrived yet, and Kayla, my pro shop manager, she's up with Patricia in the office. So these three women, Kayla getting all the surveillance off the camera, you know, Kiana, you know, transposing it onto the zip drive, and Patricia, you know, kind of quarterbacking the whole thing and calling me and telling me to get back over there. They're staying way over time, you know, to help me, and they didn't need to do that at all. So they want to go home, and here I come back in my flip-flops, and my uh, still my tennis clothes on, and uh, they're all just like, "Oh gosh, Randy, we're so sorry for your, you know, for your loss of all your stuff." And and I go, and I'm kind of laughing. I'm thinking, you, I'm, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, the Bible says that you know, don't let evil overcome you. Overcome evil with goodness, and that's exactly what these three ladies are doing. Is they're actually ministering to me, and you know, and I am I am kind of bummed out. I'm not gonna say I'm not bummed out, but I'm more bummed out about the lock and the fact that I can't even do my power door locks because of the the uh, fact that this um, person had you know broken into it. So anyway, the policeman arrives. His name is James. Great guy. He takes a report, um, you know, and I have this really wonderful conversation with him, and he's asking me about you know the the club and after we do the report and. Um, you know, he's asking how much does it cost to join here and stuff, and he's got a young family, and, you know, he likes to play golf, and, you know, so we have this wonderful conversation after I do the business of him taking all the information down for me, and so, so anyway, uh, so, so I, I'm standing there with James, and he's also explaining to me, he, he gives me the case number of, because they're going to be, you know, pursuing this. He says, well, here's the case number of, uh, because we're, you know, you're now on file and we're going to, you know, do our best to see if we can, you know, track down this car and, you know, the person, he says, do you want to, you know, prosecute the, the person if, if you find them? And I, and I said, yeah, I, I'd like to prosecute him because it's not going to do him any good if he doesn't get prosecuted to get away with doing these kinds of things. 
And by the way, I wasn't the only car that was hit. In the surveillance film, there was probably seven or eight or nine cars that he tried to break into, and I don't know if they broke into, but they have footage of all this stuff. So then James tells me also, he said, yeah, well, tell this to your insurance company, and, and probably, you know, your deductible is going to be a lot lower for this than it would be if you were in an accident. And so that was a blessing. So um, after I say my goodbyes to James, I call uh, my automobile club, who who's, we have our insurance with, and he's right, it's only a $250 deductible, which is really cool, because I thought it was going to be a $1,000 deductible like our collision, so I only have to pay 250 bucks. And the adjuster just said, yeah, you're going to be contacted, um, you know, on Tuesday and uh, by our adjuster, but go ahead and get your car in to where you want to get it fixed and, um, and we'll take care of it. And so, so basically, if I hadn't had Kayla and Patricia and Kiana kind of be proactive and not ignore the fact that I was broken into, which is kind of what I wanted to do because I just didn't want to deal with the hassle, I would be paying for something out of pocket that I really didn't have to. So there's another miracle in how God works in the lives of all of us. And as a Christian, I recognize it in a different way than, you know, I would have recognized it before I was a Christian. I, I looked at it in the, in the standpoint of the sacrifice that Kayla and Patricia and Kiana made for me on my behalf by um, spending all this extra time in trying to get to the bottom of it because as as they put it we're all friends so I mean <laughs> that is an amazing I mean that's kind of the environment that my that I work in um, with all of the, the the people that work at my club we have about 115 to 120 employees in all of our departments and in our management staff we have um, you know nine or ten department heads and uh, another six or seven associate um, you know, assistance and stuff, and it's just a wonderful place to work. So I really thank um, those ladies for coming to my rescue on getting, um, well, at least making a dent in uh, the possibility of finding my stuff and it not being that expensive. And so on, on, on my behalf, uh, Kayla and Patricia and Kiana came to my rescue, and on our behalf, Jesus Christ has come to our rescue by redeeming us back to himself with his death and resurrection on the cross. And um, it's, a, it's a remarkable thing when the Holy Spirit, when you become born again as a Christian, it just simply means that you have, uh, you acknowledge that you have a need for a savior, and that is Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father except through him. And when you also understand that the wages of sin is death, and, and um, but that God demonstrates his own love for us in this, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And if we, as a Christian, if you also understand, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. It puts a whole different perspective on your life than you've ever had before. So I am not only looking at life from a different angle because of the Holy Spirit living inside of me, but I also want to share that good news with you that if you repent and you acknowledge that you're a sinner and that you want to be born again and you want a new life, a new beginning, which you can have right now, you, you just simply uh, pray this prayer in your heart or out loud and just say, Lord, I know I'm a sinner. I repent of that sin. Lord, I, I know that you're the Savior. And I, I want to trust in you for the rest of my life. And if you do that, you will have God's promise that he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. And you will go to heaven at the end of your life. And guys, again, as I share these stories with you, I, um, I, I, I'm really glad what happened yesterday uh, happened. And I mean that because it gives me an opportunity not only to have a story for you today, uh, uh, but it also gives me another glimpse into the personalities of these three wonderful women, Kayla, Kiana, and Patricia, and, and I know them all fairly well, but it, 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 always, it always strikes me when somebody's kind to me, it, it just, uh, it warms my heart and wants, it, it makes me realize that how good I feel, I should be kind to others. 
Um, and so anyway, guys, uh, it is finished on the cross. Uh, Jesus has paid the debt and he broke the chains of death by rising from the dead. And I praise him. I praise him for my salvation. I praise him for my guardian angels yesterday. Holy, holy, holy Lord God almighty. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. God in three persons, blessed Trinity. God in three persons. Thank you, Kayla. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you, Kiana. Blessed Trinity. Till next time, you guys. God bless you guys.